Good morning and welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. This morning I'd like to feature a recipe that was submitted by Jean Grenaud. And um, she submitted the recipe for sweet and sour meatballs. I've already mixed up the meatball mixture in here. Basically it's ground meat, breadcrumbs, parsley, and an egg, and uh, one of the packages of um, onion soup, dried onion soup. So that's all that is. If you excuse me, I'm going to use my hand since it works best that way. So we've mixed up all the ingredients. I assume you could use this as a meatloaf mixture as well. I love meatloaf. I could probably eat meat, meatloaf twice a week, which amazes my mom considering she said we had so much of it at home when we were kids. She said she thought I'd be sick of it by now. but. Meatloaf and potatoes, can't get enough of those. So, mixing this all up. And um, form them into balls, whatever size you want. I, I made, my, the ones I made earlier today, I made big because so, it didn't take me very long. But if you're going to use cocktail size, I guess for a cocktail party, you'd want to make little ones. So I'll do a couple little ones here. I have it in my Teflon pan. That was a midget one. Um, I won't do all of these. And then the mixture that you'll put all over this after I've done all the meatballs is um, ketchup, grape jelly, and some lemon juice. Hence the sweet and sour. So then all you do is, after you have the meat, all the meatballs in the pan, mix this until it's smooth, and then just spoon it over all the meatballs. Bake it for 30 to 40 minutes, again in a 350 degree oven. And did some earlier course today, and as I told you, I made some big ones. And um, they have a nice color to them, nice texture. And uh, you can use them. Let me try one of these just to be sure they taste good. Haven't had breakfast yet, so. Mmm. Very good. Even cold. So here we are. Sweet and sour meatballs from Jean. Thank you very much. See you next week in Kitty's Kitchen. And if you'd be interested in having this recipe or any of the other recipes that are in our cookbook, Cooking to Beat the Band, be sure to call the band office at the number on your screen and we'll be happy to send one out to you as soon as possible. The cookbook is $10 plus shipping and handling, so thanks.